Hi everyone, Massimo here from the Blue Root team. And today I have something super exciting to show you. We've customized Zoho for financial advisors. And I wanna show you how to do that today. We actually have a product that we sell to people that you can reach out to us about. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you how Zoho can work for financial advisors, how you can manage all the different financial products that you sell, how to run reports, how to capture leads, how to manage existing business and a lot more. As always, please like, comment and subscribe. We love hearing from you guys and feel free to join my office hours with the link below. It's a great place to meet me, chat with other financial advisors and other people in the Zoho ecosystem. And together we can we can come up with some solutions. Enjoy the video. All right, so let's get into it. So here you see Zoho for financial advisors. And one of the things you should know about this tool is Zoho can do a lot of things, right? And when you buy Zoho out of box for the first time, it makes no sense for a financial advisor. And so what we've done here is we've customized the layouts, the fields, the drop downs, all that stuff to make sense for financial advisors. And then we've gone even further and added in supplemental features. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the high level stuff and how you yourself could customize Zoho for if you're a financial advisor. So you can see on the homepage, we have some pertinent data. This just gives you a little bit of an insight into what you can do with this tool. But you see, here here's a donut chart it kind of shows all of the different transaction types that you have in your business as well as any open tasks that you need to follow up on now along the top we try to keep it pretty simple we have contacts which are people so those can be new leads those can be partners maybe a realtor or a lawyer or something and it can also be existing clients then we have accounts, which can be used as a business, a hold co, a corporation, or a household. So you could use it on the personal side. Let's say you have Massimo, and let's say my partner is Jenna. You could have Massimo and Jenna as contacts, and then in the account tab, you could have the Massimo and Jenna household, which connects them. Because if they have different policies or different transactions, you want it all to link back up into the household. Then we have opportunities, which will house all of the transaction types that you're doing. So that could be a life insurance policy, a critical illness, a health, a group benefits, whatever financial advising type of product you're selling, you can put in here. And then there's carriers. These are the people or companies that sell these products, right? So let's start with contacts. This is kind of the entry point into the system. So you see here, we give you some very basic stages. These stages are, they don't work for everyone, but they get you pretty far through the process. So you can see there's not contacted, attempted, contacted, quoted. So the idea here is when you have a new lead come into your business, you can go ahead and hit create. You can fill out some info about this lead. And by the way, you can do this from the web as well. So I'm going to say this is a lead. It'll then ask you, OK, do they work for a business or are they part of a household? I can also put the phone number. I can also put the email. I could say where they heard about us. So this is a really important field. You can say call in or you could say employee referral or you could just say external referral and you can actually find that referral. So you could say, oh, Peter Griffin sent this. Right? So that's a really handy feature if you get a lot of your business from existing clientele or from partners, lawyers, realtors, whatever, you can actually tag them so you can keep track of who's sending you business. Now I can hit save. So you'll see on this page now that we have uh, some information on the left. Right? I can send them an email at any time and we have all kinds of pre-templated uh, email templates in here. You can also go down here, see all the emails that you've sent to receive to this client. You can write some notes on them. So talk to Maslow. We also have some tabs here that this is actually proprietary to our version of Zoho. And basically this is uh, our relationship widget. And so you can now say, okay, well, Massimo actually has a brother, Peter Griffin. So you could say Peter Griffin is brother and Massimo is Peter Griffin's brother. Add, now you have brother. And also Massimo owns a company, maybe call it Blue Root, and Massimo is, a, and you could say owner. And so now it'll have an account and it'll have a contact. And so you can make really complex relationships here very easily. And a lot of people really like that in the financial advising world because a lot of their clients have hold codes and operating codes and partners. And so you can very easily make complex relationships. And you can go down here, hit all fields. We have all kinds of fields that relate to the partner. These were the ones I was filling out earlier. So you can edit these at any time, right? 
We also have an attachment tab, so you can upload attachments that are pertinent, and an activity tab to create tasks, right? So now let's pretend that you talk to Mossimo a couple times, maybe you move them through the stages, which are here, right? So we could go stage, and we could say attempted to contact. We have some pre-templated emails in here that'll go out to the client when you attempt to contact them, just saying, hey, just tried to call you, give me a call back at, back at this number. Now let's say they're now ready to work with you. They want a transaction from you or a life insurance policy or an RRSP or whatever. That's when the opportunity tab comes into play. We try to keep it simple here where there's one pipeline for all opportunities. Each of the opportunities can have different opportunity types, which you see here. So you could be selling a long-term care or a life insurance or a health insurance or a disability or an investment product, right? And so those are all denoted by color here. And then you can move them through this process. Now, obviously in your business, Business, these statuses or stages might be different. You might want more, you might want less. That's very easy to do in Zoho and our team can help you if you'd like. So the idea here is though to keep it simple and keep it clean. So when I open up this opportunity, you can see along the top, and this will look nothing like the normal Zoho. You'll see along the top here, you have what type of policy it is, what the premium is, what the coverage amount, the policy type. So you can come in here and choose different types. And based on what you choose in the all fields section, you'll see here, if I choose the policy type and I say, well, it's actually group benefits. You'll see down here, there's some group benefit fields. If I choose life, You'll see down here, there's all kinds of life fields. What term, uh, what are the important dates, any commissions, right? So we really try to have it customized based on the policy type. Now, again, this stuff can be customized even further, right? None of this is set in stone. The idea here is with this product, we'll get you 70 or 80% of the way there. The rest you can take on your own or work with us. So you can see here, policy number, carrier you can put, insured legal name, this is the actual main contact. So again, now at this point, you're working with the client or trying to, right? And so maybe you collected their information, how much they weigh, do they smoke, all of that stuff. Then you're gonna be sending it to the carrier, going back and forth with the carrier, trying to figure out if you can close this policy. Then you come back to the client and get them to sign everything, right? And then you close it or you lose it. And once it's closed, then that's when all of our renewal reporting comes in, right? And so that's basically the general flow. Someone comes in as a contact. We actually got rid of leads. We tried to keep it simple. And you can denote if someone's a lead or not inside of their contact record. So you can go in here and you can actually say, well, this person is a lead, right? When you close the policy, our system will automatically move them to a client. And so we get rid of that lead module in order to simplify the database, but it still has the same effect, right? So you can also move everyone like this. So you can just click and drag them like this. So you have the contact module, you're following up, following up. At a certain point, you're going to move it into an opportunity and one contact can have many opportunities. And then you're gonna be moving the opportunity along, you close it, and then that's when it comes into the reporting area. So in this reporting tab, we have all kinds of pre-built reports, but just to give you an example of some of the reports you can make, if I make one here just quickly, I'll show you, I can go in here, I can go opportunities, I can hit continue. And I could say, well, I wanna see all my opportunities by, we'll do this, we'll say contact. So right now I'm choosing the columns, right? I also wanna see the closing date. I also wanna see the type. And then maybe I'll say, well, I also wanna group this by type. So you can see here, there's five group benefit policies and five health policies. And then you could even put some criteria on it. So you could say, well, I also want to have this, only the ones that closing date is before today, for example. So only the stuff that is actually closed. So I could do um, is till yesterday, right? So now it's only showing all the policies that closed up until yesterday. So the reporting in here is very robust. And if you're the type that wants reports to hit your inbox, we also have pre-canned reports that will actually in the scheduled here, you can schedule these to hit your inbox daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly in PDF or Excel. You could see here that we didn't overcomplicate this. We tried to keep it pretty simple and you can do the same based on what I was just showing you, right? So this is Zoho for 
financial advisors. Now, there's some other cool things that you can do in here that are just nice little tidbits. If you are a financial advisor, I'd encourage you to check out. Number one, Zoho has a signing tool. So Zoho Sign. This tool can be used to sign documents with your clients, know your client or carrier submission forms or whatever. And it's just like DocuSign or any of those other tools out there. You can hit send for signatures, you upload the document, you put who has to sign in, and you drag all the signature fields where they need to go. Super easy, included in the bundle. I'd strongly encourage you checking it out. There's also Zoho Forms. So Zoho Forms is an easy to use tool that you can drag and drop all of the fields you need. This is an example. So you can go Mosmo and then you could do type of insurance, right? And you could have all kinds of different types. Then when you hit submit, that information can then come back into the CRM. So you can use this as a lead form. You can use this as a application form for all the info that you need from the client. You can use it in a multitude of ways. And so that we really find handy as well. And a lot of our life insurance clients use that form. So they build out their own forms because everyone's slightly different, right? So you can build out a form. It's very easy to customize. You hit new form, say new insurance application. Create. Then you're going to drag over a bunch of fields, name, maybe type of insurance, right? And then when you're done the form, you're going to come back here into integrations and you're going to integrate it with the CRM. So you're going to go ahead and hit integrate. You're going to choose probably the contact module and then you just go through mapping fields, right? So you say last name to last name, first name to first name, insurance type to insurance type, and that'll automatically bring people in. And so these three apps, there's a bunch more, there's 45 plus in the Zoho product suite. But these three apps we're seeing a ton of financial advisors take advantage of, starting with the CRM, getting their lead flow and getting their opportunity flow in check, then moving into sign, then moving into forms to get things more automated. If you take advantage of those three apps, your business is going to be really amped up. I appreciate you watching this video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. And also, as I said in the intro, feel free to join my office hours. There's an office hour link there. In those office hours, we talk about this app a lot. You can come in, ask questions to me personally, uh, find out if it's a good fit for you. But keep in mind, what I'm showing you here today may not be the full solution for you, but it can get you 70 or 80% of the way there. And oftentimes that is sufficient to get you into a system, getting you using it. And then that last 20 to 30%, it can come over time. Don't feel like you have to get it all perfect on day one. This is a great starting point, great foundation, and see you in the next video.